Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I actually, I actually shopped at two stores for today's video. Lots of new food finds, lots of good deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's grocery haul. So the first part of my haul this week is actually from Whole Foods. When Lola went to chemo this week, I stopped at Whole Foods. I wanted to get her some treats for in the car and I wanted to also get her a rotisserie chicken. That's what was recommended by her doctor. So let me show you what I picked up from Whole Foods. So I got dog treats, like I said, these are the shameless pet. These are really, really good quality dog treats and they were on sale actually with Amazon Prime, you can save money at Whole Foods. So I wanna say that they were 377, which is even cheaper than I can find them at Ross and TJ Maxx for. So I picked those up, we already broke into those for the way home. And then I love these chips and I haven't had them in so long. These are the root vegetable chips. I like the Heritage Blend the best. Sweet potato, blue potato, Yukon gold potato, and beets. I love beets, and these are so good. They're so crunchy, and just a healthier option for a chip. And then I also got my favorite pretzels, the pretzel bites. I actually like the little baby ones better than the full pretzels. I do buy the big ones at Costco, but I'm out, so these were on sale as well, so I got those. And then this is something I thought that I would have as a side. It's barley and lentils. So it says a ready-to-heat blend of barley and green lentils with extra virgin olive oil and sea salt. So you just put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. So I thought that would be a great way to get in protein and fiber. And I love, love, love the Choco Love brand of chocolates. They had every single bar you could think of. And I love a good chocolate orange and dark chocolate. So I picked that up. A serving is only 150 calories, which is a third of the bar. So it's not bad at all. These are a little bit lower sugar chocolate and they're dairy and gluten free. So good. I almost got two, but I decided to go ahead and pick up one because I did find another fun new sweet treat. And then that rotisserie chicken for Lola, her oncologist recommended this because she doesn't eat much for a few days after chemo. And this week she actually was down in weight on the scale. And so when she called me, I was at Whole Foods and she mentioned a rotisserie chicken. So I grabbed one. It was was $8.99. So not a bad price considering that it was Whole Foods. And then I did grab some yogurts because I am just about out. I'll grab some more at right at my next grocery store, but Siggy's was on sale for $1.99. So I picked up a peach and then I also picked up a coconut because I thought those would be really good in yogurt bowls. And then they also had all of the flavors of the little mini cups of good culture. I'm also out of cottage cheese and I, again, we'll pick up some tubs at the store, but I did get the pineapple cottage cheese and then also the strawberry. These are great even for a sweet treat. You guys waiting for rotisserie chicken? <laughs> Yes, you are. And just a really good way to get in protein. So I picked up two of those. They were like $2 and some change, so kind of expensive. So the full-size Cleo bars, the 100 calorie ones, these were on sale for $4. So about a dollar a bar, which is a pretty good price. They're 100 calories a piece and you actually get seven grams of protein. So I like having these as a sweet treat as well. I also picked up some hummus for the pretzels. I thought that would be a really good snack combination. And the 365 brand of the roasted red pepper hummus is my my all time favorite. It's so, so delicious. And then I saw this and I thought this again would be a really good side. Baby potato blend garlic herb sauce with grilled whole baby potatoes, green beans, and grilled carrots. So I thought again, that would be a nice, easy side dish. 80 calories for an entire cup. There's three servings in the bag and it's steamable. I also picked up some half and half because I've been putting half and half in my lavender coffee that I've been making. So I grabbed the 365 brand. And then I have heard so many things about these and I've never seen them except for at Whole Foods. So I finally bit the bullet and bought these. These are from the brand Saint Amour and these are the rock and rolls. They had a raspberry chocolate and almond. So I decided to go ahead and get almond. They're vegan, low fat, cholesterol free, and low sugar. You can have an entire serving for 110 calories. 
and this is what they look like. So you get several of them for the serving. And like I said, I've heard really good things about these. So if you've tried these, let me know, but I was excited to see them, so I picked those up. This is a new to me thing from True Nopal. So this is made out of the Nopal cactus, which is actually really healthy for you. And this is the Prickly Pear Cactus water. No added sugar or sweeteners. The entire thing's only 40 calories. So I thought that would be great after a workout. They did have a couple other flavors, but I'm going to try that one first. And then speaking of workout, this is another thing I really like to have when I hike or also after. These are from the brand Soli and these are fruit leather, but it's only fruit. So there's no added sugar at all. These were on sale for $1.43. So I have the or pineapple coconut, the pineapple, and the mango. We had these when we did our 10 mile hike and they're so good and just a really good way to get in some carbohydrates with exercise. So that is everything from Whole Foods. Let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the grocery haul. Here's the rest of my grocery haul for the week. I finished up at my local Kroger store, which is a fries. I got quite a few good deals and quite a few things this week. So I decided to grab some candles. These ones I've seen a few times and never Never bit the bullet and bought one, but they're only $4. And this one actually smells really good. This is Capri Citrus. And then these, I actually really like this brand, Candlelight. These were also on sale for $3.99. So I picked up a Tropical Fruit Melody and a Sunlit Mandarin Berry. Very, very summery, fresh scents. And then they have their wax melts on sale for $1.99. I do use one pack of these every week. We have several little wax burners in our house, kind of like that one with the light on over there on the table. So I end up going through a whole pack every week. So I grabbed an orange burst. I love these two scents, lime and coconut and orange vanilla. So good. And they actually have quite a bit of throw and the scent lasts for several days. Now this was new to me. I actually was in the frozen vegetable aisle looking for broccoli and I saw this as I was walking by. This is the bird's eye dip. So spinach and artichoke and creamy Parmesan sauce, 30 calories for two tablespoons. And I have those little non bread bites that I bought at Sam's club. I thought, oh my gosh, how perfect would that be for a snack? So I picked that up. I guess you just warm it up either in the microwave or the oven. Let me know down below if you've tried it, but very, very low calorie. No protein, but only two grams of carbohydrates and two grams of fat. So really low calorie, good macros on that. And then they had their Sargento cheeses, blocks are shredded, buy one, get one free. So $4.49 for two, $2.25 a bag, really good price. So I got some mozzarella cheese and some Mexican blend. Typical two gallons of 1% milk for Troy for the week. And then they didn't have much reduced meat, literally just these and some chicken breast. So I grabbed these, it's 80-20, so I'll use this for Troy. I bought Manwich last week, so I think I'm gonna make him up some Sloppy Joe meat for the week. I'll just cook up both pounds. So this is one pound of 80-20 for $3.89 a piece, really good price. And then I've never bought oyster sauce before, but it keeps showing up in my recipe. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'm just hoping it doesn't taste really fishy. So let me know, again, if you've tried this, explain to me kind of what it tastes like, but I need this for a recipe, actually my lunch meal prep. I did grab a Good Culture Cottage Cheese. I also had a dollar coupon for this, so I paid $3.49. I cottage cheese all the time. So I go through one of these or more every week. And then I did grab a few more yogurts besides the couple I got at Whole Foods. So I opted for light and fit. These were on sale for $1.19, I think. So I got one of the caramel apple pie, one of the strawberry cheesecake, and then one of the toasted marshmallow. I just like having yogurt on hand for my yogurt bowls. Troy asked for some more lunch meat for the week, so he wanted ham and roast beef, so I picked up one of each. And then I am making a sandwich recipe. You guys will actually see it in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, that called for hot dog buns. So I picked these up. What I like about these is they're only about 100 calories. So I think they're four points on WW, and 100 calories is not bad. And it's a great alternative to those big hoagie rolls that are a couple hundred calories. So I picked up some hot dog buns. And then I also got some potato salad that was reduced for him. This is country potato salad with egg. It was $3.83. He'll definitely eat that up quickly. I'm completely out of flour other than my fiber gourmet flour, and I kind of hoard that. So I decided to go ahead and just pick up some regular flour. And then I also got him another box of Yasso bars. He's been loving these. I got cookies and cream this time. I don't know if he's tried this one. I have, and it's delicious. He really likes these, and I'd rather him eat these than other things for dessert at night. So I picked him up a box of those. And speaking of dessert, I did get the raspberry white chocolate half of a bundt cake. 
this is amazing. And it was 50% off, so it was a, right around $3. So again, just another sweet treat option along with the Yasso bar. This is his favorite bread, as you know, and it was only $2.99 a loaf. So I grabbed it. I'm just going to throw it in the freezer, and then when he's out of the one he's using from Sam's Club, I will. this will be available for him. Normally, this is about $5 a loaf. So $2.99 was a really good deal. And then I also got some diced ham. This is for my breakfast meal prep. Blueberries, because I need berries for a recipe. Plus, I'm completely out of berries. I finished everything I had in my fridge this week. And then I got blackberries as well, because these were on sale. And then these are cute. You know I normally get the mini cucumbers, but these are like extra mini cucumbers. How fun. So I picked those up. I thought I'd try those compared to the little bit larger mini cucumbers. Green onions, this is for a recipe. Troy asked for a veggie tray, so I went ahead and picked him up a vegetable tray for the week. And then I actually need broccoli for two separate recipes. So I got the steam in the bag for one because it actually called for fresh broccoli. And this is just a lot easier and that way I can cook it up, have it ready to go. And then I got just a regular baby broccoli for the other recipe that actually called for frozen broccoli. And then lastly, I got some Boston lettuce leaves for my lunch meal prep. What you don't see is four 12 packs of Diet Coke. Coke products are $4.99 a 12 pack this week. So I picked up four and then two eight packs of Gatorade Zero. My Imperfect Foods box is here. Well, Imperfect Foods or Misfits Market. It says Misfits Market on the other side. I usually order from them about every two weeks. It's a great way to help prevent food waste and you can get some really, really good deals. Plus they deliver right to your doorstep. I will link them down below. I do have a discount for you. I believe you either get 20 or $30 worth of free groceries. So definitely check it out. I'll leave it down below. So I picked up a few of my staple things I usually get from them. One is the shredded Mexican blend cheese, the Imperfect Foods brand really affordable, really good, actually cheaper than most grocery stores. And then I also got some uh, sharp cheddar cheese slices, which is my very, very favorite cheese. I picked up some purple sweet potatoes. It just sounded really good as a side dish. And then I got these for Troy, the chomp chomplings, the little mini beef sticks, the grass fed and finished beef. So I got those for him. I mean, I'll eat these too, but I thought that these would be really quick, easy way to get in some protein, 40 calories, four grams of protein. I did pick up quite a bit of dog treats. They have some really good deals at Imperfect Foods. So these Shameless Pets Bananas for Bacon, I got two of those. And then I got the Tooth Berry, which are these dental sticks. I just break these up into like three or four little chunks and give them to the dogs. These are really affordable through Imperfect Foods. I did get some cottage cheese. The whole milk is all that they had available. But again, a really good price. Speaking of really good price, their Chia Smash right now is $5.99. That's the cheapest that you're going to get Chia Smash ever. Usually it's between $7.99 and $9.99. So I got all three flavors. I got one of the raspberry, one of the cherry pomegranate, and one of the blueberry. I love Chia Smash. I use it on my yogurt bowls, and I also actually use it as a substitution for jam because it's nice, clean ingredients, 25 calories, and it has the superfood of chia seeds. I also picked uh, these up because these were a great deal. The Simple Mills Almond Flour Crackers, the six snack packs. So these are little individual serving bags, 120 calories per bag. Love these. Love these when I hike. Love to take these on the go. It's just a really great way to have crackers, healthy crackers, and portion them out. And there's only four. 14 grams of carbs, which is really low for a cracker. And then I couldn't pass these up. I've actually heard of these before, but I've never tried them. These are from the brand LMS New York, and these are their lemon sea salt cookies. These are 100% nut free, and three cookies is 140 calories. So there's 11 of them in here, and I thought maybe one or two would be a perfect sweet treat. You can also crumble these up on Ninja Creamy ice cream. And then I had to get the pink sugar, of course. 140 calories, three cookies. So I'm excited to try them. Actually, let me open it and see what they look like. Oh wow, these are good size. You get three of those for 140 calories. So it says on the side that it's New York based, woman owned small business. So I love, love, love that. I love to support small business. And then I got these because I actually saw these at Ross and they were $1.50 more a pack than through Imperfect Foods. And I love Tony's Chocoloni, the best chocolate. These are the Little Bites, milk chocolate covered bites with crunchy caramel. It's 160 calories for a quarter of the pouch. So there's four servings per pouch. I'll just weigh them out, but I was excited to have those. Like I said, that is some of the best chocolate. So I will link Imperfect Foods slash Misfits Market down below for you. Definitely take advantage of the free groceries and of course helping to prevent food waste. 
So here's what is on my menu for dinners for the week. I did not make the broccoli cauliflower rice casserole that I had on my menu last week, so I'm going to make that. And then I'm also making meatball subs. That's the recipe you guys will see in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. And then we are going to have a taco night. And then here's what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So I'm actually making ham, egg, and cheese quesadillas for breakfast, so excited for those. And then for lunch, I'm making cashew chicken lettuce wraps. So a great high protein, low carb meal. And then for dessert, I am making a no-bake chocolate peanut butter oatmeal bar. I love a good no-bake recipe when it's hot outside. So you will see all three of these in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week. Like I said, some new food finds, some good deals. We love a good deal. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!